at the point, standing six foot five, number ten, Luke Dumont. Starting at small foot, six feet four inches, number five, Venice Williams. At goal, six five, number twenty two, this man Henry. from 2K Sports. Get ready for some NBA action. And tonight we've got the Memphis Grizzlies playing against the Los Angeles Lakers. This is Kevin Harlan along with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And of course, David Aldridge is joining us tonight from the sideline. Here's a look at some of the stats for Jaron Jackson. And guys, he's fighting it a little bit at the free throw line. In the past 10 games, the stroke just hasn't been what we saw earlier in the season. He'll be trying to right that shit here tonight. And now the Lakers starting group at the guard position. Russell and Reeves down in the block. It's LeBron and Davis. And it's Hachimura in at the three. And for the Grizzlies, we've got Desmond Bain. Williams is out there with Santi Aldama. And there's Jackson. And it's Kennard in at the point. By this point in the year, Greg, the playoff discussion comes into play. Some teams look solid to make it, and others are chasing a spot. Absolutely. And this is when you want to play your best basketball in the regular season. Coming down the stretch can be a mental drag, but rewarding for some clubs. This is when playoff spots are secure. Here's Eldama. Six to shoot. Memphis needs to get off a shot here. A three-pointer is right on target. Baines got the first bucket of the night. A three-pointer for the Grizzlies. James, the pass to Davis. And here's Russell. Jacks up a three. And that one falls coming off of Davis's feed. Three. Guys, you can just about count on it. If you score on Russell, you better believe he's looking to come right back at you. Passes to Jackson. Bain with it. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Here's Reeves. Against Indiana, he was really on his game. And that one's good. Hachimura. And we know Hachimura has a confident personality. You see it there with the rise and fire approach. Nice. Now, here's Kennard. Down low. Bain, no good. That's exactly the look they wanted, guys. Right guy, right play. Wrong result. Pass to Russell. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Pass to Hachimura. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. Off to a nice start here. They've hit all three from the field. Well, for Memphis, their last game a loss to the Nuggets in Ball Arena. Outside, Bain. And again, it's Memphis with a three. Los Angeles has gone three of three from deep. Nine points rung up from outside here in the first. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Right for a franchise like Memphis, is there a specific way they have to build? Through the draft. I mean, they aren't going to get the huge A-list free agents, so you have to hit on your picks. You also have to keep your guys happy. Sign them to smart extensions. And that one falls for Hachimura. Greg, looking at the history of the Lakers, they always feel they're a title contender. And they've been to the finals in every decade. Their longest championship drought in L.A., just 12 years. So, to me, the best franchise in NBA history.
That one misses, so he goes one for two. Hey, Greg, gritty is a word that is often used to describe the Grizzlies team. And I think it applies to this unit as well. These guys are all tenacious and hungry. They play every game with a healthy ship on their shoulder. They love to compete. Russell finds James. Back to Russell. Here's the pass to LeBron. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. And Davis gets it to go. AD just shoving past the inside contact that time. Powerful move getting it done. Outside Williams. Here's Kennard. And they get some nice contributions from him on a nightly basis as he averages over 11 points a game. I mean, you know what? Very close to a three-point play right there. Yeah, he almost got that one down. I mean, those are the kind of aggressive plays coaches love to see. All right, well, look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. We've got a bunch of this game yet to be played, but they're shooting it well from the three-point line. That's got to be a welcome sight cultivating a lot of assists right now which is beautiful to see love the way they're working that ball around and the first one drops in court for years the Lakers have been the premier destination for free agents think that's still the case now I do I mean it's still Los Angeles the history of the Lakers is one of the premier franchises in the league along with the Celtics so I think cap room is the driver though that's always the great equalizer in this day and age. And I think that helps keep some of the small market teams in the game as well. Free throw shooting is about mechanics, confidence, and your mental approach. He's locked in from there most every night. Outside, Davis from deep LeBron. And the rebound by Jaron Jackson. Not a problem when that's your first miss of the game. Strong start. Kennard kicks to Bain. Outside Williams. Back to Bain. There's the triple. And it's LeBron James with the rebound. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Now here is Hetchimura. He has seven. Pass to Reeves. There's the three. They get it again. And James throws it down hard. And that's just LeBron being physical, explosive, and effective, earning an extra possession for his team. Nice angle on that replay with the AT&T 5G slam cam. The Grizzlies trail by four. Kennard, the pass to Bain. Kennard setting the pick for Bain. The shot goes in as the ref calls the blocking foul. He's on his way to the free throw line. I tell you what, guys, there's not much more he can do. I mean, he's been on fire, yet they still trail in this game. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And what a season he's had at the foul line thus far. 86% from the line and you know with those numbers he makes a defender hesitant to get too tight on him I mean he doesn't want to get whistled for the foul and put this guy on and so James will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers they defeated Indiana in their last game yeah, I felt like they attacked but with a purpose they knew what they wanted to accomplish coming in well it really showed the trust they have in one another I love how they got after it and you could feel that they were playing for each other and Davis puts it in. Hey, that kind of contact just not going to get it done against Davis. He's much too strong for that. Pass to Aldama. It's stolen by Davis. To the paint. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. No question he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. We're always hearing the debate. Who? is the greatest of all time. Well, Clark, do you think passing Kareem's all-time scoring mark finally puts LeBron out in front? Kevin, that in and of itself puts LeBron in rarefied air, no doubt. But when you're talking about the greatest player of all time, we all have our opinion. 
It's just so hard, I think, to effectively debate players across different eras. I just say there have been a ton of great players throughout the history of the game, and LeBron is certainly at the top of the list, no matter when he played. And he's good on the second. And now the NBA's all-time leading scorer. Clark, LeBron did something most people thought would never be done. I'm in that camp, Greg. I tell you, Kareem was my guy. He was my idol as I was growing up. I never thought his record would be surpassed. It just shows you how remarkable LeBron has been in his production, in preparation, in taking care of his body. And this guy is still going strong. That makes him the king. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Yeah, they're lasered in. I mean, really making the most of their possessions. Now here's Jackson. 11 points for him in that last game against the Nuggets in Denver. And he was also a big factor for them defensively. I think he tallied four blocks in the game. Hachimura against Williams. Five to shoot. Here's Kanon. That's good. And it's Jackson with the assist that time. The, the mid-range jumper is a high percentage shot for him. And when he's got that much room, to get him. From deep, James rebounded by Jackson. The Grizzlies trail by five. Kennard with the ball. Pass to Eldama. Inside. Jackson gets the button. Just nothing more you can do. Sometimes Jackson is going to score no matter how good the coverage is. Hachimura finds Russell. Hachimura with a screen on Kanar. Russell passes to Reeves. And out of bounds is Memphis Gaines possession. Let's take a look at the numbers for Desmond Bay. How his last 10 games have gone. Averaging about 16 points, four assists, and three rebounds. And he's such a big part of what they do offensively. Yeah, he's just got that nice feel, that sixth sense, knowing where to be on the floor to help his teammates generate points. Kennard against Russell. The pass to Bain. Can't tie it up as that one misses. Los Angeles leading by three. Now, Hachimura, seven points in the game. Passes it to Davis. Here's Reeves. Russell with a wide open look. Hits the three point bomb. Russell's got a couple of threes now in the first for Los Angeles. Memphis has gone two or four from beyond the arc to start the game. Kennard, the pass to Bain. to Williams trying to find Jackson he's got it now and the basket is good Jackson's got his second basket and don't forget his dad played in the NBA as well so Jackson probably grew up getting bumped all the time trying to score in the backyard and there's no stopping that AD is too long and strong to bother that alley-oop Russell against Kennard Outside, Bain. Here's Aldama. Buries the long range jumper. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. And so it's Russell with it. He'll bring it up for LA. It's a three point game. Russell sets a screen for James. Good on the three point shot. And the defense is in disbelief here. Triple after triple. When that happens, you simply just hope they start cooling off. Now, here's Kanar. So, timeout called here. The first for Memphis. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Nuggets. Yeah, I mean, on the road, their defense was just overrun. Couldn't match the intensity of the opponent, and it cost them. And you know what, guys? It just seemed like they never really had the kind of energy necessary. They just weren't comfortable on the defensive end. Oh, 
some changes here for the Grizzlies. Jackson is checked in for Williams. Conchar comes in for Bain. And Goodwin subbed in for Luke Kanaw. The Lakers also changing it up. Prince is checked in for Hachimura. Reddish comes in for Austin Reeves. And Dinwiddie subbed in for D'Angelo Russell. Now here's Goodwin. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. The high post shot. Good on the jump shot. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. High octane action for sure. Crowd pleasing already. Davis sets a screen. And here's James outside. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. They went to Los Angeles for their last meeting with the Lakers and came out with a victory. Yeah, their long-range artillery hit the mark more often than not. A, a great equalizer when you're on the road. They found their rhythm and kept piling it on. And a huge boost of confidence on the road for sure. To the middle, here's Davis. No good that time. Some solid defense there from Jackson. The Grizzlies trail by four. That's to Goodwin. Back to Conchar. Two minutes remaining in the first. And it's Goodwin in the corner. And again, it's Memphis with the three. Boy, from the looks of it, it appears the defense is fine with him taking that shot, but he makes them pay when they do. Dinwiddie surveying the floor. And LeBron gets LeBron it to go LeBron. with the assist by Dinwiddie. LeBron's got 11 points. At the offensive end, he's been assertive and efficient, guys. A big reason why they hold this lead right now. Here's Goodwin. Great D that time from Davis. You know Clark, when he's 100%, Anthony Davis, one of the premier big men in the game. Hey, I would take that qualifier off of it, Kevin. How about just one of the best players, period? He can pick and pop. He can pick and roll. He can post up. He can do everything offensively. And defensively, he's unique as a rim protector with the ability to defend on the perimeter, too. Los Angeles making a switch here. Hayes is checked in. Lakers leading by four. Here now is Dinwiddie. And he also played a big role in their last game with Indiana. Prince wide open. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. You know, when he was coming out of college, this is exactly what scouts thought Prince would be. A strong 3 and D wing who plays with a lot of effort. Now here's Goodwin. He's got five. No problem knocking that one down. He's got 14. And really the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring him back. The pass to Prince. From down in the low post, it goes. Prince has got his second bucket of the night. Prince not one to back down from a challenge. Even when you contest his shot, he's going to still concentrate and get it up and down. Pass to Bing. That's tipped. Goodwin with it. Defended by Dinwiddie. The shot's good. Just reliable, guys. He's just always trying to make the right play. There's 21 seconds left in the first quarter. At the elbow, it's James. Kicks it out to Dinwiddie. And the wide open shot from Reddish. No good on the three. That's a good one. Here's Steffens. Here's Bain. Oh, and he nails it just in time. One eye on the rim, one on the clock. What a play. And I quarter with momentum on your side. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for the Lakers. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. We've got more in store for you right after this.
Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. And taking a look at the Lakers' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing in the game? Coming in hot. They were sharp from the perimeter right out of the gate. Well, the player and ball movement has been excellent. Finding space, operating in space, and when they've gotten open shots, they've knocked them down. And here's James. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. So on the floor for the Lakers to start this second quarter. They've got James. He's out there with Hayes. That is out there with Prince. And it's Dinwiddie in at the one spot. Sinks the three-pointer. Knowing exactly where his guys are at all times. That's a nice dime from the King. The Grizzlies trail by five. Goodwin kicks to Jackson. Pass to Laravia. The train. A rebound by the Lakers. LeBron's got four rebounds in this game. See that time from Bain. Memphis is gone. Five of eight from three-point land. Fifteen points and a deep ball for them tonight. Goodwin with it. He's picked up by LeBron. Jackson a screen on Dinwiddie. And Jackson throws it down home. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. And I tell you what, guys, that's a big play to make in a close game. Potential momentum builder there. Here's Dinwiddie. Grizzlies making the shot. A three ball. Rebounded by Jackson. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. Now, here's Goodwin. Dinwiddie covering. Goodwin passes to Jackson. And they're unable to get the tying basket there. Lakers leading by three. Here's LaRavia. Still without a basket. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Now the pass to Hayes. Dinwiddie left side. Passes it to LeBron. Six on the shot clock. The fader. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got his third assist on the night. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. He got for us, D.A. Thanks very much. Well, John Morant might be right-handed, but he looks to drive left. When he was a kid, he broke his right arm flying off a trampoline. Now that arm is shorter, and actually that right hand is smaller, too. He says, that's why I dribble with my left hand. I'm able to control the ball better. In my head, I think I'm left-handed. Back to you. <laughs> Trade secrets, right, David? Hey, thanks for the report. Williams, he's checked in for the Grizzlies. Luke Kennard comes in for Goodwin. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Here's Payne. And there's the foul. And it's on Dorian Prince. That's his first foul. Here's Jackson. It's Williams high post. Pass to Kennard. Bain with it. Guarded by Reddish. Where the league is now, Greg, on any given night, we sometimes see a team fall flat. Is it just luck of the draw? Sometimes players are tired, and sometimes they relax. You know, this is why leadership is so vital. Setting that standard for others. He's such a physical player inside. LeBron doesn't fear contact on the way up. This is his second trip to the line in this one. And you, you know, something I remember from their last game was how good he was at the line. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, he attacked, got to the line a bunch, and cashed in on his chances. Guys, he's slightly fallen off his pace from a year ago at the line, and those points from the strike have been a little harder to come by. And some changes here for the Lakers. Hachimura, he's checked in for Prince, and D'Angelo Russell subbed in for Dinwiddie. And both free throws, good for James. Look, the physicality has always stood out with LeBron. It's been obvious, but... 
His basketball IQ is what makes him such a special, special player. I mean, he sees the game like very few ever have. Payton for three. It's rebounded by Hayes. Three triples in the first quarter, but he's yet to knock one down here in the second. Reddish kicks to Russell. On the wing, James. Like at six. It's rebounded by Memphis. Bain finds Kinnar. Back to Bain. And he jams it after taking the nice feet on the run. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, GA, right when your teammate makes that kind of play. You know, when you're looking to close the gap, you need guys who will take it upon themselves to step up, take the initiative and make something happen. Down low, here's Kennard. Makes it off the glass. And now, just a three-point Los Angeles lead. Just no resistance inside at all. They are feasting. This is a straight buffet. It is. It's a big one. You load the plate. Yeah, exactly. It sure is. Plenty of second opportunities. Eight of their last ten points from the paint. But the defense still continues to back away and not show any aggression. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Santi Aldama's checked in for Memphis. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Torian Prince, he's checked in for Hayes. They throw good, Russell. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. One way to protect the lead, knock down those free throws. And 100% free throwing for the quarter, that's superb. Now, here's Kinnon. He has six. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this score. Over to the wing. Takes the three. And Reddish, the bucket on the assist by LeBron. Boy, you got to love that assist by LeBron. The Grizzlies trail by nine. To the inside. Bain. And really the defense fouling there to the prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. It is. I mean, no reason to back off and give him the layup. Much better off making him go to the line. And this will be his second and third shots at the line here. And the first one at the line is good. Anthony Davis is checked in for the Lakers. Austin Reeves comes in for Reddish. And Bain drops them both. And the Lakers with possession here. Outside, Russell. In a wide open look for Hachimura. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Bain passes to Kennard. Back to Bain. Let's the free fly. That Sebastian is eighth from the field, eight of 14. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Here's Reeves, guarded by Bain. LeBron can't get it to go. The Grizzlies trail by four. Outside, Bain. Pass to Eldama. Six to shoot. It's stolen by Hachimura. LeBron passes to Russell. It's Davis on the wing. Kennard covering. Lakers passing it around. Down to five on the shot clock. Out to the right wing. Here's Reeves. Yes, and it's LeBron Austin picking up the assist. Reeves. LeBron's got his seventh assist here tonight. So hard to challenge these shots. I mean, especially against the better shooters. 
Now, here's Kennard. He's got six. Jackson kicks to Williams. And again, it's Memphis with a three. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. And that one's good by Davis. Yeah, you look at Russell, and one of the things I like most about his game is this guy has great vision and passing ability. The Grizzlies trail by six. And one thing you respect about Russell, his ability out, to get the rock in the hoop. Yeah, I agree. I mean, he puts, he puts points on the board in bunches. No matter what uniform he's wearing, this guy is a legitimate lethal scorer. Now a timeout called by Memphis. On the now on the board. And the Grizzlies with some changes. Jaron Jackson comes in for Jackson. And Goodwin subbed in for Bain. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Torian Prince, he's checked in for James. Now here's Williams. He gives his team some nice contributions, averaging a bit over 10 points a game. A three-pointer off the mark. And so it's Prince with it. He brings it up for Los Angeles. Six-point lead. Here's Reeves. He's been a factor in their offense on most nights with his scoring average at nearly 16 points a game. Inside, Russell. And the slam dunk by Russell. How about that dunk? I mean, you don't see that every game, but Russell looks to flush when the chance is there. Now, here's Goodwin. He has five. There's the pass to Kennard. It's good from long range. Kennard's got nine. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. I think they're playing too soft on the perimeter. They can't stay so soft. They've got to get up into the shooters here. Here's Reeves. Davis with a screen on Kennard. There's Russell with the three. Four for five with that first miss in five attempts from the floor. Well, it looks like he's cooled down a bit after hitting those two in the first quarter. Now, here's Goodwin. He's guarded by Russell. Now, here's Kennard. Got it for his fourth field goal of the game on just five shots. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Back to Russell. And that one falls, coming off of Davis's feed. 13 points in the game. Simply found the open man there because he ran the defense. Well done by Davis. Passes to Kennard. Pass to Jackson. From eight. And the Grizzlies tap on two more. And that is quickly becoming Jackson's domain. He is such a strong finisher in the paint. Davis setting the pick for Russell. Loads it up for Davis. Stolen by Jackson. Williams inside. Defended by Prince. Now here's Kennard. Defense right on him. Austin While there's a break Reed. in the action, here are the real Second stats, the, the real scores Third from the down. real NBA, revealing the top three-point shooters. Now you look at Kennard, second in the league, extremely accurate from beyond the arc. What a percentage that is for him from three-point range this season. His deep touch is about as good as you're going to see. First free throw is good. Hey, guys, this is the way to stay in the game. They're, they're doing a masterful job from the line. Perfect this quarter. And the Grizzlies making a change here. Baines checked in. Good on both. Here's Reeves. Davis with a screen on Bain. Reeves the pass to Davis. And the rejection by Jackson. Executing to perfection right now offensively. I mean, in total sake, good luck trying to stop him now. Now, here's Bain. 
He had a 15-point outing in their last game against the Nuggets in Denver. Just five to shoot. Williams can't hit. Yeah, but the defenders draped all over him. He just could not shake loose. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. Here's Hachimura. Count it. Hachimura's got nine. And the confidence Hachimura has in himself knows he can score from this area when given the chance. Kennard kicks to Bain. And he hits it to tie the game up. Bain's got 26 points. All these threes they're giving up have really been the driving force on this run. Here's Reeves, guarded by Bain. And it's Desmond Bain with the foul. Desmond Bain. That is his first foul of the first game. Personal foul. Third team foul. Fifty-four seconds left now here on the second. Pass to Prince. Dishes to Davis. Six on the shot clock. And there's the pass to Hachimura. Deep two from Russell. It's rebounded by Memphis. Aldama's got four rebounds in this game. Kennard against Russell. Kennard shot is off. And it's Russell with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Passes it to Hachimura. Kicks it out to Prince. Off target from three-point range. Pass to Bain. Launches a three. It doesn't go for him. Desmond Bain getting it done for the Memphis Grizzlies. He's up to 26 points, pouring in the buckets. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. AD, you see how they're playing you in the first half. What's the adjustment going to be? So, you know, we got to come out with a great intensity, and it starts in warm-up. So, we got to come out uh, with a great intensity, great mindset. Let's not go out there and win the third quarter. I have never heard anyone say it starts in warm-ups until now. Thanks, AD. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. Hey, everybody. Psst. I got a secret. We're approaching the playoffs, and we are starting the show with a breakdown of the Western Conference standings. Taking a look at Memphis. They've wanted this to be a turnaround season. They have a few building blocks, but the roster construction is not complete. This front office has some tough decisions to make. And taking a look back now at the first half of play, the Lakers find themselves in a tight one. Their defense has been soft, S-O-F, capital T. I'm not talking one ply, two ply, three ply. I'm talking eight ply, extra strength, S-O-F, capital T. I think I know what you mean. Though I'm never really sure. Oof, no. That is more than enough of us. Let's send you back to the game, Kevin Harlan and crew with the second half. second half action for you and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first this one could go down to the last possession it's been a clinic out there by Desmond Bain man he's been running wild on him through that first half absolute dynamite on offense and you know what I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank that first half had to take a lot out of Luke Kennard out there with Desmond Bain then it's Santi Aldama then it's Williams, and it's Jackson, and at the five. And that's the group for Chandler Jenkins as we begin the second half. Now, here's Bain. From past the arc, Jackson misses. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Here's Reeves. Pass to Davis. 
and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Second person hey, you know, this is really the challenge of trying to defend Davis because not only is he tall and smart, but he's gotten stronger. And he typically blows through contact and draws fouls. First free throw is good. In many ways, Anthony Davis is the epitome of a two way threat. He can be just dominating on both sides of the ball with his physicality. Both good from the line that time. And among NBA bigs, he is known for his ability to deliver at the free throw line. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. The Lakers remain on their grind. Darvin Ham says, I'm preaching daily preparation. From the rest you're getting, how you're taking care of your body, sleep habits, nutrition, workouts, recovery, film work, being efficient with your practice time, and your shoot arounds. Winning habits are built daily. Kevin, I'm very tired after saying all that. Back to you. <laughs> I'm sure you are. They actually do all of it. David, thank you for that detailed report. Now, here's Kennard. Following the miss by Anthony Davis. Kennard finds Bain. Right, let's check out stats for James. An amazing run for him the second half of the season. And with a top 20 ranking and field goal percentage, you put the ball in his hands, and he converts at a remarkable rate. And as you mentioned, top three in assists right now. He does a great job of running the offense, spotting the open guy, and making the sound delivery. First one falls for him. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Third quarter here, over a minute and a half into it. It's Davis on the win. The pass to Reeves. Now here is Hachimura to the paint. LeBron kicks to Hachimura. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. LeBron's got assist number eight here in this one already. Kennard with the ball. 13 points in the game. Payne for three. Drills the three-pointer. Payne's got a pair of threes now here in the third for Memphis. Uh, he's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. Yeah, I'd be confident, too. As a matter of fact, I mean, you're stacking up threes the way he is. I mean, he's doing all this work from behind the arc. Kennard against Russell. Passes it to Bain. Here's the three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Davis has got rebound number five here tonight. LeBron outside. Lakers passing it around. A jump hook. James gets inside and finishes. Yet another stellar night for LeBron offensively so far. In some ways, he's just unstoppable. Kennard kicks to Bain. Hits it from three-point range. Bain's got 11 here in this quarter alone. He's absolutely killing it from outside. Outside, Davis. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. James looking it over. It's out of bounds. The Lakers able to retain possession here. Here's Davis. He's got 13. 
in the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Williams passes to Kennard. Outside, Bain. Kennard setting the pick for Bain. Beyond the arc. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. Out of their last hot bakes. How about all five from long range? Well, the defense just hasn't pressed up to deny any of those looks, guys. I mean, they're hanging back and getting picked apart. Now, here is Russell. He's had his share of big nights at the offensive end, that's for sure. His scoring average is at 18 points a game. Watch out. Now that he's got his first three of the half, there may be more in store. It's Jackson atop the key. Pass to Kennard. A kick out to Bain. Just five on the clock. Here's Eldama. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got six rebounds now in the game. Over to the left wing. Hachimura, the pass to James. Here's Russell with the three. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. Three points. James has got nine assists in the game. Great pass. Kennard against Russell. A floater, and Davis sends it back. If you don't know exactly where Davis is, he's going to deny your shot, so you got to be aware of his presence. Back to James. Pass to Russell. To the inside, Davis. It's in and good for his sixth field goal in 10 attempts. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take it. Kennard setting the pick for Payne. Down low. And Aldama slams it in. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. The Lakers with the ball. Following the score by Memphis. Hachimura. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. Yeah, and it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Russell against Kennard. Outside, Bain. It's stolen. And here's the fast break. LeBron leading the way. LeBron finishing the fast break. Boy, there's nothing quite like LeBron on the fast break. That combination of size, strength, and speed makes him electric. Kennard, the bounce back. Jackson set the pick here for Payne. And a miss there on the triple. Lakers lead by six. Outside, Russell. Loads it up for Davis. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, hey, they've been clearly the better team. Now a timeout called by Memphis. The Lakers also with the sub. Reddish is checked in. Goodwin. He has five. Kennard with a screen on Russell. Here's Goodwin. Banked in off the glass. Goodwin's got seven points in the game. Here's Los Angeles now. They're on a 15-4 run right now. And the pass to Hachimura. Here's the feed to Davis. Some solid defense there from Jackson. 
Boy, that is awesome defense, guys, against a capable finisher. Well done. I'm sure the coaches love that. And that one hits back iron. Lakers leading by six. Davis kicks to Russell. Passes to Hachimura. And here is LeBron. 14 feet away. And there's Davis. That's good on the assist by James. LeBron James. LeBron's got assist number 11 for him here tonight. Now here's Goodwin. He's guarded by Russell to the middle. Pass to Aldama. Three-pointer. Anthony Davis with the rebound. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. In for another field goal. A sublime 9 of 14 on the night. That's their third straight make off an assist. Now, here's Goodwin. He's guarded by Russell. Williams against Hachimura. Shot clock at six. Here's Goodwin. No good with the triple. And so it's Hachimura who brings up the ball for L.A. Ten-point lead. This is their biggest. Shoots from the line. Again, the Lakers. Boy, fantastic job that time. Cashing in from the mid-range by Russell. He understands when to pick his spots from the mid-range area. Now, here's Kinnar. He's got 13. Pass to Jackson. Fires the three. Traps in the tray. Jackson's got a back down to within single digits for the Grizzlies. And, and he's proven he can make this shot. Jackson, the D has to respect his range better than that. The pass to Davis. LeBron outside. Now here is Hachimura. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. Hachimura's got 16. And the scary thing is, Hachimura is going to keep getting better. Games like this prove how special he can be. Now here's Goodwin. He has seven. Pass to Kennard. And stolen by LeBron. Here's Russell. And the slam dunk by Russell. And you know, once Russell catches fire now, let him eat. I mean, he's got the ability to take over games with this scoring. Now, here's Kanar. He's tightly guarded. He kicks to Goodwin. Pass to Kanar. Rocket six. Off the mark there with the three point shot. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebound has certainly been at, been at, the, at the center of it, but it's Second been good on a number of levels. Second hey, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown the for the Lakers. For Lakers. Well, you know, for me, the passing has been fantastic all night. Everybody loves watching this style of basketball where the ball moves and players move. Coaches, fans, and even us broadcasters can appreciate that kind of action. And also, they took advantage of their quickness, got inside and blew through the open lanes. Great job of attacking the paint. Both teams deciding to change it up. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Yeah, they've not missed a single foul shot this half. That's taking care of business, fellas. Now here's Jackson. In front of you now is the list of teams that haven't missed many shots at all since the All-Star break. The Lakers, number one. No doubt their offense has really hit its stride. I mean, they're making the extra pass and not settling for that first shot that presents itself. And you see that in their shooting percentage. He misses the free throw.
Good on the second free throw. Lakers leading by 14. James, the pass to Davis. Kicks it to Dinwiddie. 46 seconds left here in the third quarter. Five to shoot. With the fadeaway. They get it back. Memphis fouls. Desmond Bank. Second personal foul. The Lakers have been getting it done at the line. 10 for 12. Yeah, and over the course of the season, they're a respectable 78%. That comes in handy in close games. That one misses. Torian Prince, he's checked in for the Lakers. He hits the second from the line. 32 seconds left in the third. Outside, Bain. Now, here's Goodwin. Dinwiddie covering. Back to Bain. And he dunks it down. And, and cutting into the lead with the big one-hand throwdown. That's how you get your team back into it. That might indeed ignite a spark in this team. Davis, the pass to Reddish. And the shot is good. Reddish has got seven points. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. And after defending on the shot, he doesn't give up on the play. He'll follow that straight to the glass for the rebound. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. Lakers lead by 15. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter underway. Let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard with the pass right on the money. Terrific versatility coming from a big man. Not something that the majority of big guys possess. It's no time. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. As we get going in quarter number four. And on the court for the Lakers to start the fourth. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. Then it's Reddish. Then it's Satorian Prince. And it's Dinwiddie in at the wide. And he found a soft spot in the D on that possession. Pass to James. Merciless inside! Merciless James! A monster down low. LeBron James, the rare package of skill, size, and athleticism. Outside Jackson. Feeds it to Goodwin. Knocked away. Reddish with the ball. Now defended by Bain. Here's Davis. And finished off by Davis. When AD gets going like this, it's almost impossible to slow him down. He's got so many different ways to beat you. Outside, Bain. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. On the wing. And there's Jackson on the assist by Bain. Well, the, the pick didn't exactly neutralize the defender, but, but good concentration on the finish to still get the basket. Now here's Dinwiddie. James kicks to Dinwiddie. Launches it. And another three for the Lakers. And this is how you want to come out of the half. Prolific and efficient. Boy, I like the disposition and attitude since halftime. They're patiently looking for good shots. Goodwin with it. Dinwiddie covering. 
Now the pass to Stevens and stolen by James. Inside. And the layup is good. And the Lakers lead by 20. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Outside, Bain. Goodwin sets a screen for Bain. Latrey connects again from distance. He's got this defense scrambling, and even when they've got two guys on him, he just finds a way to create space. And he's making some team history. He just tied the franchise record for three-pointers in a single game. Friends with a screen on Bain. Here's Reddish. And Reddish with the slam. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, GA, the pick working to full effect before the stuff. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. And it's Davis with the ball for the Lakers. Dinwiddie wide open. And that one falls coming off of Davis's feet. Davis has got his sixth assist on the night. Memphis has gone one and two from three-point range here in the fourth. And here is Goodwin. This is it to Bain. Good! Another from three. He's now set the team record for most threes in a game. Unreal. And a lot of it stems from his confidence. Even when he misses, he's sure. He's positive. The next one's going to go in. Los Angeles calls timeout. And it's Russell in for Dinwiddie. A bit under three and a half minutes of pass here in the fourth. A shot by Reddish, no good. The Grizzlies trail by 19. Now here's Jackson. Good one kicks to Jackson. Outside, Bain. Six on the shot clock. Great look, but off the mark. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Pass to Hayes. Now James. Prince in the corner. Russell finds Reddish. For the three. Goes back up. And LeBron with the layup. LeBron LeBron's got 13 points here in the second half alone. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and taking control of the glass. Despite the play of the team, I think he's had an outstanding game. He's really done well here. Outside, James. It's rebounded by Memphis. Eldama's got rebound number eight now on the night. Good one passes to Stevens. Pass to Goodwin. Here's Stephens, covered by Hayes. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. Personal foul. First team. At the line for your Grizzlies. Lamar Stevens, two shots. Shooting two. The first one falls. Some changes for Memphis. Jackson, he's checked in for Santi Aldama. Williams comes in for Jackson, and it's Kennard in for Goodwin. Dinwiddie is checked in for the Lakers. And so he hits both. Lakers leading by 16. 
There's the steal. Kennard with the ball. He's picked up by James. Kennard kicks to Bain. Six to shoot. Let's it go from deep. And no good that time. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Hayes with the screen for LeBron. From outside, off the mark. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Outside, Bain. Connects again from distance. And this parade of threes has no end in sight. He just keeps knocking them down. Oh, and that latest triple ties him for second for the most threes in a game. What a monster he's been from deep. And he's tied Curry's mark from 2016, which was the top spot for threes in a game for a short while. It's been that kind of takeover display that we've seen here tonight. So it's the Grizzlies now after Los Angeles picked up three with their rush. Bain, no good. Los Angeles leading by 16. He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. He's on his way to the free throw line. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Aldama's checked in. And then for Los Angeles, Davis is checked in for Hayes. Hachimura comes in for Prince. And it's Austin Reeves in for Russell. What you can't help but notice this half is how good they've been from the free throw line. Lights out. Kennard, the pass to Bain. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That one on Davis. Second team foul. At the line for Memphis, Desmond Bain. Two shots. Shoot two. We throw good, Bain. That one misses. And the NBA said expansion should wait until after the new CBA. Greg, that's done, so what new teams? I mean, Kevin, it seems like Seattle's been waiting forever. Professional teams have been crowding in the Las Vegas, and don't sleep on Mexico City. A lot of potential fans south of the border. Here's Williams following the basket by Anthony Davis. Here's Kanon. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. And, you know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen there. 13 foul. At the line for one. Luke Kanon. One shot. That free throw, good from Kanon. And so James will bring it up for the Lakers. Dinwiddie outside. Out to the right wing. Hachimura against Williams. And that one's good, Hachimura. And a solid shooter from mid-range. Hachimura with textbook fundamentals. Dinwiddie against Kanon. The pass to Eldama. LeBron with some nice D. I think he'll think twice about attempting that shot next time. The defense was right on top of him there. To the inside. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball 
inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Well, once they recognized the advantage they had inside, it made a lot of sense just to continue to attack that area. Outside, Bain. Passes to Eldama. This one for three. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. Jackson's got four assists in the game. A, a solid distributor. I, I think Jackson is gifted at reading defenses and then being able to spot the open teammate. Now here's LeBron. Right side, Davis. Some solid defense there from Jackson. The Grizzlies trail by 18. Pass to Kennard. Six for ten with that shot going in. That's a good game for a lot of guys. Well, you certainly can't fault him as the reason they're behind. He's been on target and on top of his game. Pass to Reeves. Back to James. Yep, that one goes in there. James has got six in the quarter. He's certainly been their go-to guy when it matters most. He's trying to close this one out. Outside, Bain. And again for three. There it is. A shot that puts him at the top of the record book. Well, Greg, he's now tied for the mark for most threes in a single game. In one word, amazing. He passed Curry's high a little earlier, and now he's matched Clay's mark. Didn't think we'd see a show like this coming into tonight, but here we are. Timeout called the Lakers. in for Dinwiddie. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldrich. What's the latest, David? Hey, guys. Listened in on what Darvin Ham was talking about with his players. Now, he heaped praise on the defense. He said the pressure's great. I love it. Keep making them make mistakes, guys. It's working. He thinks they're on the right track here. Guys, back to you. Thanks so much, David. And LeBron used to getting hit. This is the level of attention this man attracts from the deep. two shots. Free throw good, LeBron. And James drills them both. The Grizzlies trail by 17. Here's Kennard. Outside, Williams. Kennard with the ball. The kick out to Bain. Bain drawn the double team. Here's Eldama. The three-pointer no good. Lakers lead by 17. James the pass to Hachimura. LeBron outside. Russell against Kennard. Puts up a three. Offensive rebound. Davis. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Late in the game. Up big. They continue to attack. Yeah, I don't think you want to get loose and sloppy or ease up, but it is time for them to start using that clock a bit. And statistically, more young players in the league today, Greg, than in decades past. Might be a reason the age limit wasn't lowered in this new CBA. Yeah, I mean, the veterans saying, hey, we're already having a tough time sticking around. And I think having those guys help on and off the court. 
Now, here's Kennard. Back to Bain. 11 feet away, Anthony Davis grabs the miss. Davis has got his 16th rebound on the night. And, and as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big time dominance. And, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for the Lakers. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, I, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And for the year now, they'll ramp up their win total to an even 40. And, you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Davis. Now, he was a problem on the glass today. Relentlessly crashing the boards and came away with a bushel basket full of rebounds. Here's Kennard following the basket by Anthony Davis. Bain with the screen on Russell. Outside, Bain. On the wing, Jackson. Makes no mistake on the open jump shot. And with that basket, he's able to end a 10 nothing run by the Lakers. And so James will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Hachimura finds Russell. Here's Reeves. Out to Russell. The three. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. And, you know, this run shows what kind of attitude this team has. I mean, the win is there. Go get it. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. That's exactly right. But with the way they control the game, and they just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Ron, when you know AD is behind you, how does that help you defensively? You can stay home. You can allow him to play one-on-one -on -one versus a guard versus a big, and you can stay home and be able to box out and get rebounds because he's that good. It's quite a one-two punch, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. As New Balance presents our player of the game, Anthony Davis.